water. We drink it, we bathe in it, we play in it. Ultimately, we all need it to survive. The textile industry has a big problem. A majority of textiles take a huge amount of water to dye, manufacture, and finish. For instance, in India, production of one kilo of cotton yarn requires an average of 6,000 gallons of water. Even today, at state-of-the-art package dyeing plants in the United States, the usage and disposal of textile wastewater has its issues. At Revolution Fabrics, we are committed to using as little water as possible to make upholstery textiles. To accomplish this task, we had to start with the right fiber. We chose polypropylene. Thanks to our partners' innovations, we are proud to use water-free dyeing techniques where the largest use of water in our factory is the water used in the bathroom. Let's learn how we dye yarn without water. Yes, polypropylene is a plastic. However, it was thrown away into the 1960s where we learned how to recycle it into consumer products like yogurt containers and fabric. First, we buy polypropylene pellets from refineries in the United States. The polypropylene is then taken into the yarn factory where it is combined with pigments. Pigments, unlike chemical dyes, are made from substances like rocks, minerals, and seashells. The mixture is then melted and then extruded through a machine that resembles the shower head in your house. As the polypropylene yarn cools, it is stretched on wheels the finished yarn is then shipped to our factory in North Carolina, which is less than 300 miles away from where the yarn is made. By choosing Revolution Fabrics over traditional dyed cotton, you save 54,000 gallons of water per sofa. Very little water, no PFC chemicals, Revolution Fabrics.